He discovered the story of the Buffalo Soldiers and his life changed. Now Ivan Stewart is using his artistic abilities to bring this rich black history to the general public. He's brought some of his paintings with him this morning and he'll share some history as well with us. Ivan, welcome to the show. We appreciate you joining us. Good morning, Ken. First of all, for those who don't know much about this, why don't we talk about uh, what are the Buffalo Soldiers so folks know what we're talking about. Okay, basically the Buffalo Soldiers were those are uh, Civil War veterans uh, with nothing to do in 1866, Congress authorized the formation of uh, four black regiments, and they went to the West in 1866 and remained until 1900. Now, you've been an artist for a long time. What is it that captured your attention before we get to your pictures here? What captured your attention about it? I see you are appropriately attired for this. Well, an accidental discovery um, of a book uh, titled The Medal of Honor Winners, uh, written by Irvin H. Lee, a black Air Force sergeant in, uh, in 1968. And uh, it was a new awakening to me, simply because I never knew that there were uh, black soldiers in the West. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, why don't we uh, start out with your photos here. Let's go over here to the far right-hand side, first of all. And to start with the big one, why don't you slide over there so we can take a look at it. Uh, this is a flipper's charge at uh, a place called Tanaha de los Palmas. Uh, this actually took place. Uh, flipper was the commander of the, t of the 10th Cavalry Company A. Uh, he rode to the defense of uh, Colonel Garrison, who was pinned down by uh, Victoria Warriors. What are you trying to capture here, mostly, when you, when you paint these? Uh, basically, a uh, cavalry charge. The excitement, the dusk, uh, the guidon flying in the wind that uh, designates the 10th Cavalry, Company A. Uh, each individual has his mission. Uh, they know what they're there for, and they're, they could be killed at any moment. They, they're not worried about that. They are just primarily doing their job. All right, why don't we slide down the line here a little further. Love this one. Okay, this is uh, Officer of Cavalry. Um, this is uh, Second Lieutenant uh, Henry Flipper, uh, the first black graduate from West Point. Uh, he entered West Point in 1873, graduated in uh, 1877, uh, 50th out of a class of 76. So all your paintings are, are based on real folks, not uh, your images or your perceptions of that time. No, no, this is history. And uh, my reason for doing it is simply because it was not enough in the history books on this subject. And they played a very big important part in settling this country. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we come on down here to our third picture. Uh, this is um, through hostile country. Uh, it depicts uh, a detachment of uh, Buffalo soldiers uh, escorting the mill through uh, Native American territory. And at that point in time, it was hostile. Uh, this was just one of their missions. Uh, basically, they were what we call uh, policemen of the plan, uh, protecting whites against uh, Native Americans and Native Americans against whites. Mm -hmm. What particularly about the role of, of the black soldier got your attention at this time when you read it? What, what made you say, this is something that I'm going to have to paint? Uh, because uh, the, the involvement from the, the struggle uh, to defend themselves during the Civil War, uh, it, much debate went on about whether these black people would fight or whether they would run in the face of the enemy. And there was nothing to that effect. Uh, these people were uh, intrepid soldiers in every aspect of, of the word. Uh, they were Medal of Honor winners. Uh, they went on from there, and of course, uh, it led to uh, General Colonel Powell, who is the highest ranking black officer in the history of the United States uh, Army. Is it, uh, in effect, your effort to sort of set the record straight about confusion over this time and about the role of black soldiers during the Confederacy? Particularly because uh, there were very derogatory statements made uh, after uh, the Spanish-American War. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt indicated that he had to kick somebody in the till to force him up uh, San Juan Hill, and that was not true. All right, Ivan Stewart uh, making these paintings. We appreciate you joining us today. Thanks Thank a you. lot. All right. And I might also tell you that for more information on Ivan's paintings, or if you want to purchase one, you can call 404-344-8678. You can call this number this weekend only. After that, you can call 1-800-469-8701. And still ahead on Good...